Uh, last Friday night was a great night for us at, at, at Bentley. Uh, we were able to, to host an alumni reception that was really well attended, um, really in part kicking off uh, the school celebrating its centennial year as well. Um, our athletic alumni got to see the plans for our, our new hockey arena, uh, which will be done in a year and a half. And, and uh, you know, I think that's really something to celebrate it. <clears throat> across our, our campus and, and especially in athletics. You know, our, our hockey program and Coach Soderquist and those guys have done a phenomenal job um, competing at the Division I level for, for 15 years. And, um, you know, they're, they're going to be able to compete in a new arena that will be great for our campus. And hopefully, you know, some of the great programs we've been able to compete against on the road will come to town for us um, in years to come. We capped that night off uh, with a, a very good performance by our football team. We, we won as a team, which was, was great to see. Um, Merrimack came in here under the lights, and, and uh, it was really a nice environment for, for all those involved. Um, kind of a back and forth uh, first quarter, and then with three minutes to go in the second quarter, we were able to put together an offensive drive and get in the end zone. Uh, followed by a block punt uh, from Mike Fawahimi from Lynn Mass, St. John's Prep, that led to another score. And about two plays later, Brandon Brown from Suitland High School in uh, PG County, Maryland, picked off a pass and returned it for a touchdown. So we went into the half with, with some great momentum. Merrimack gets the ball uh, coming out in, in the second half, and, and Junior Cherry. Uh, senior safety from right here in Waltham was able to intercept another pass and return that for a touchdown. So uh, we really won as a, as a football team and, and you know midway through the third quarter we were looking at a, at a 38 to 7 lead and, and unfortunately for us we didn't quite you know finish the game we, we would have the way we would have liked to. We, hit, we had a convincing win um, as time went on. Uh, one of the things about us competing as a team and winning as a team, I think, is an interesting stat that uh, Dick has, has brought to my attention. We've scored 10 touchdowns in the last two weeks, and all 10 have been by different players. So uh, that's a pretty unique statistic, and I think it just shows the way our kids are, are playing, and when their number is called, they're, they're getting the job done. And uh, really proud, proud of those guys just playing together and, and really executing. Uh, we'll definitely be tested this week, as Eli talked about, LIU Post and their quarterback, Jeff Kidd, uh, in conference. You know, he has two conference offensive player of the week awards already this year, uh, completing about 80% of his passes um, to, to some great weapons. We, we know him very well. Uh, this is, will be our fourth game this year, and we played the last two games of last year against these guys as well. So. Essentially, what three times in our last six games we've we've had to face him, and and he's surrounded by uh, I think very good football players, and Coach Collins and those guys do a great job. Uh, they're extremely efficient, uh, they're they're persistent, and they, they really just find ways to win games. Um, you know, by by executing play after play after play. We'll be tested down there in Long Island this week, and, and we're really excited about it. Um, Best of luck to everybody this week and congratulations to you guys.